Hi, Dan Tani and I are here on board the International Space Station, and we wanted to uh, say Happy Thanksgiving to all our NASA Select viewers. Uh, we feel particularly privileged to be up here, privileged and thankful to be up here on board the International Space Station this Thanksgiving. And we're looking forward to our activities this week. We have a busy week with EVAs, and we hope that uh, you also are having a great Thanksgiving. In my family, uh, we gather for Thanksgiving, and we uh, uh, spend a minute to think about the things we're thankful for. And of course, uh, uh, I'm thankful for my uh, the continued health of my family and uh, my loved ones, and uh, that uh, also this year I'm thankful uh, that I'm safely on the space station and uh, and, and conducting our mission uh, successfully and having a, a great time uh, doing it. I'm thankful for all the people on the ground uh, that support us and uh, who are tireless in their devotion to the space station program and to the space program in general and to us as a crew. And uh, I'm thankful for Peggy, my crewmate, uh, having a great uh, commander and a great companion uh, on board and also with Yuri. Uh, when we think about Thanksgiving, uh, we think about uh, the pilgrims coming to the new world and uh, expanding their knowledge of, uh, of their universe and uh, of uh, making new discoveries and uh, looking for a better life for themselves. And uh, Thanksgiving was an opportunity to be thankful for uh, their survival of a very diff difficult time. And I think that may be where we are in the space program of uh, human uh, space adventures and uh, uh, thinking that, well, uh, here we are safely on the space station. We, uh, we have setbacks, but we uh, can solve them. And uh, hopefully this is the start of, of, of our generation or our world uh, expanding our knowledge and uh, learning how to live in space and expand our knowledge uh, outside of low Earth orbit. So we would like to wish everyone uh, on Earth a happy Thanksgiving, and especially uh, our NASA family. We're thankful to be part of that family. And we wanted to share, share with you some of the things that we might be eating on Thanksgiving Day, Get, do a little show and tell of some of the things we have on board here. We have a variety of different types, food types on board the International Space Station. One item Dan is showing here in a little bit of a close-up is a freeze-dried shrimp cocktail. It's a favorite of almost everybody on board the station. Another food type we have is found in cans. Uh, uh, a lot of the Russian meats are served in cans. This is lamb with vegetables, so a uh, very popular one on board. Um, although Dan and I like the chicken, that's why there's none of that left. Another type of food is some prepackaged. We have some uh, set up uh, from the ground that comes up in packages that, and uh, has enough preservative to be stable and sent up here. And so we have fun eating those as well. Seems a little bit more like home that way instead of eating everything out of uh, a bag. We have. Uh uh, sometimes we have uh, foods that are uh, acceptable for us to have up on orbit that have enough preservative qualities, and uh, sometimes friends and family are able to send them up. And my wife sent up some uh, some thinly sliced uh, uh, looks like ham from Italy, and, uh, and we're going to save that for Thanksgiving and, and open that up as a treat. We call this uh, Barbie bread. These are uh, little itty bitty loaves of bread uh, from uh, the Russian. Uh, uh, program. Uh, they provide these breads, and they are uh, they're they're cute and delicious. They're different types. This is uh, these are rye breads, and uh, they have other types of white breads and uh, wheat breads, and uh, they're delicious complements to uh, to our food. Finally, we don't go anywhere uh, in the universe without chocolate, and uh, these are the popular candy coated chocolates, and they're popular because of the color and uh, the fun. And uh, I think they say they melt mouth and not on the lab. Uh, we uh, a lot of the food we eat, probably uh, uh, a third or so, is uh, pre-made and pre-packaged in uh, foil pack. And uh, even though the label doesn't make it uh, sound uh, or look very 
uh, particularly appetizing. Uh, we find delicious things like meat, uh, stews, uh, lasagna. Uh, this is pudding. Um, and uh, this is basically uh, technology that uh, I think is developed for uh, meals ready to eat uh, for the troops overseas. But our motto on board the station is, it's all about the sauce. The best part of the eating here is you have to have the right sauce to put on it. Um, so very, and typically, hot, hotter the sauce, the better. This, this one obviously is our favorite. We're ready to put some water in there and rinse the rest of that out because we want to get extra. <laughs> so happy Thanksgiving to all of you on the ground. Uh, we're thrilled to be here and have the opportunity to continue our assembly. And we wish the, all the best for our friends and family and the NASA family as well. Thanks so much. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you very much.